Hello from the Music Interview Corner. Today from Helsinki from Tuska Rock Festival with Metal Church. Hey guys. How are you doing? How's it going? Nice to see you. Hello. Nice to see you. It's really great that you have time for an interview. Yeah, it is. It's great that we're finally here. This is the first time Metal Church has been in Finland. So we're really happy to finally be here after all these years. So. Cool. So it was something really special for you to play oh, today. Very much. very much. Very much, yes. And we had a special, the fact that our flight here, our airline lost all our guitars and lost everything else. And we still played anyway and had a great time. You know, that's the, that bodes well for the future. <laughs> How did you get new guitars? Oh, uh, we borrowed it from the people here. Yeah, yeah. So the people at the festival really have their act together. So they saved our lives. Cool. So yeah, very. Thanks to them. Yes, yeah. thank you very much. Yes, yes. Kudos to the backline yeah. rental company. <laughs> <laughs> And when your band was founded in 1981, you were called Shrapnel. Shrapnel was what we called the band. What I called the band when we were doing cover tunes before we became an all-original band. Yeah, and then when we became all original, then then we used the name Metal Church. I've heard that there's a special story how you got the name. I'm the last original member. It was the apartment, the name of the apartment that I lived in in San Francisco, and uh, we used to get together and party and you know drink and get crazy. But we were listening to all the import uh, new wave of British heavy metal albums, and so we ju it just kind of became the name of the apartment and the band I was trying to put together at the time. We didn't have a name, so everybody just started calling, assuming the band was called that, and it was kind of like well if you can't beat them join them type of thing and so it stuck and so that's where the name came from was the apartment you know. but, but, but then I moved back to Washington and got, got it together with the lineup that was the first lineup so but that's, but that's where the name came from Yeah, but it's a great name, I have to say. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it took me a long time to get used to it, because it was just like, this is the name of an apartment, it's not a band. But, yeah, so, but yeah, I'm, I'm used to it now. <laughs> cool. Uh, and when you guys released your first album, what was also called Metal Church, and your second album, what was called The Dark, in 1984, I think, and 1986, it was, both albums were extremely successful. And how was it for you to experience as such a young band such a big success? <laughs> how was it for you and your former bandmates? <laughs> well, it was, it was great. I mean, it was being, we felt very much at that time we were a part of something. I mean, there was a movement going on, and you know there was a, there was not a whole lot of people that were doing it. So it was uh, it was you know kind of you were again you were part of a community that was trying to trying kind to of create something new and had a lot of energy. So that was a very exciting time for for not only the musicians but the whole the whole genre in itself you know so it became it, it became well what it is today I mean that's where it started you know and it's still alive especially over here in Europe so you know to be part of that especially in the beginning of it is you know that's something you don't forget you know, so. yeah of course and uh, now it's only for you again but I have also questions for you guys a bit later uh, <laughs> Metal Church disbanded twice in 1993. Three or four times, three or four oh, times, I think. Officially, I knew officially 1993 and 2009, so there were more times. Yeah, well, a couple, yeah, when we were, uh, and, and this, I'm referring to this lineup now, we were trying to do things old school way. Basically, kind of now we have embraced the new music industry, which is um, kind of doing everything yourself and doing that now, where we were trying to do things with record companies and trying to do things with advances and all that kind of stuff, and record companies were kind of becoming obsolete. So that was really kind of making us kind of, we kind of felt that, you know, we were really working really hard and getting very little out of it. So, you know, it was kind of, it was time to kind of stop and rethink things. And then we've got back together to do Generation Nothing and doing it the way we're doing it now. And that kind of gave us a renewed kind of energy. How did you experience these times uh, when the band disbanded and what gave you the motivation to, to start it again and again? Well, we all knew that you know when we stopped it, w it wasn't like we were breaking up and we're never going to speak again and never going to do anything again it was we, we knew we had to kind of we knew at some point we'd get back together and work because it wasn't anything internal it wasn't anything personal you know or anything like that it was just we had to kind of you know kind of rethink things a little bit and kind of take a break so i don't know i mean it's been great i mean we, we made the record that's been very well received and we're back out doing what we love doing so you know that's you know that's what it's really all about you know That so. was easy to see that you love it when I saw you on stage. Oh. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, now a question for, for the rest for the new lineup. <laughs> uh, when you guys decided to join Metal Church, I think you knew before about the band. Which, which expectations did you have when you, when you went to the first rehearsal? Uh, well, for myself, I mean, I, I came into Metal Church in 2006. So prior to that, I, I played in a band called Sabotage. 
which that group, Paul O'Neill, the producer, had already had a relationship with Kurt. He had worked on one of the records. So I was familiar with the band. Um, the Weight of the World record, which Metal Church did, which was Ronnie and Steve's first introduction to the band, uh, I was supporting them with Chris Caffrey. We did a tour here in Europe. Um, so Kurt I had known prior to that through a, a sabotage tour that we did over here in Europe. So when Chris and I had the opening slot for Metal Church, this is where I became, you know, really pretty close with Kurt and Ronnie and Steve. And, you know, also Jay Reynolds at the time was playing guitar and, you know, Kirk Arrington. So I was familiar with the band. We had all, I mean, I heard these songs, I don't know how many nights in a row. So I kind of knew the, <laughs> I, knew, I knew what was going on. But when Kirk uh, could not continue anymore with the band, you know, Kirk called me up and said, asked me if I'd be interested in doing doing a record and joining Metal Church, and I said, absolutely. So for me, the, the, the transition into it was kind of a, a no-brainer in a sense, because prior to that, Sabotage had kind of disbanded. Um, my Trans-Siberian Orchestra gig left me open all year long, aside from the winter, to do some other projects. And like I said, having toured with these guys and really gotten familiar with the music and, and, and the people, it made it very easy for me to, to slide into the band. So, and here again, you know, it's an honor to play this music and, and to work with this stuff. You know, Kurt, Kurt is very humble about what he's, what he's done to us <laughs> and a lot of other people. We can talk about your solo career, but like... You talk about those first two records, and I mean, this is 30 years ago. And you saw the show today. You played Gods of Wrath and Start the Fire and Fists Are in the Air and everybody's singing the words to these songs, so. And we've never been here. Yeah, yeah I mean, so the impact that he made on, on, the, on the metal world, you know, is, it was an honor for me to come in and, and perform. And, well, and to was, work with them. It was, it was a perfect fit, too. It just made sense. There wasn't an audition or anything. It was just like, do you want to play? Yes. Done. You know, yeah, so. Yeah, that really, it was, it was uh, pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sending you 12 songs. Okay. Learn these. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm, yeah. I'm in Seattle in a warehouse, and uh, we did a record. So that was 2006. And here we are.